feels that I want to cover going over direction and directional power this upcoming winter. Okay, so again, when we talk about direction, we're moving our front side towards our catcher. We're moving our front side towards our target to make sure that our front leg is in front of there. Okay, if the front leg is in front of the catcher's mitt, all we have to do is focus on throwing our throwing arm right over it, and it will travel in that general direction. Okay, so. We can get this done with plate slides like how we do with our stacking and loading plates. You can see here I got a home plate here, okay? So if I'm working on getting my front leg to move towards the outside corner away from the right-handed hitter, okay, I can kind of give myself a focal point down here and actually see and feel where my front leg is going. So just like how we did before, we can slide and separate, moving our plate, Towards that outside corner we got right down here. Okay, and on the other side of it, I'm trying to work on getting my direction going towards the inside part of the plate on a right handed hitter. I can move that plate right over towards that right hand corner of my plate that I got on the back. Okay, so this guy, this gives guys a focal point to work towards and also get that feeling of their front side moving from side to side to hit their spots. Okay. Okay, so this can just be done when you guys are waiting, okay? Mirror drills, we've talked about them for years, okay? If you get a guy in front of a window or a mirror at home, that they're gonna get immediate feedback as to where their body's going, okay, and what their body's doing, okay? So just get guys in front of the window if there's dead time. If guys are waiting to throw their bullpens this winter, just get them in front of the window and have them do mirror drills. Have them go through their delivery and actually see their bodies moving towards their reflection in the mirror, and it will create a better feel for them moving towards their target. Okay, and the same variations we can do with a full slide drill or stacking and balancing we can do with direction as well. Okay, so again, we can take this whole setup here to not just be in a general direction. So we're trying to throw towards this left hand corner of the plate. Now we can adjust our pole a little bit to be more in as we're going through this. So Adam, so this is this can be this new part of drill. Okay, so now we can stack and see where our front side is going. So again, we start here, and I got this pole pointing towards the middle of the plate because when I turn and rotate my front foot, then it's actually going to land in front of that outside corner. And these guys will actually get immediate feedback as to where their front foot is going after they land. Okay, so we can just get here. We got it pointed towards the middle of the plate. I can stack and slide down this pole. When my front knee rocks, I can turn and see that my front foot is on that outer third of the plate. So we can do this on the inside corner too. This just gives our guys a better feel with immediate feedback on where that front side is going. And that's all I want to cover with directional power.